If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Putting on the Ritz. Different types who wear a day coat, pants with stripes, and cut away coat perfect fits. Putting on the Ritz. <laughs> Scrolling up the <laughs> All dressed up just like an English chappy. Very snappy, you'll declare it's simply top thing to be there and hear them swapping smart tidbits. Putting on the Ritz. Part two. <laughs> <laughs> I get a different woman every time I come out.
looks like an angel's eyes and a smile kind of like a pearl to my mind she's my kind of girl pretty little face that face just knocks me off my feet pretty little feet she's really sweet enough to me she looks like an angel looks she cooks like an angel cooks and my mind is a kind of world to my mind she's my kind of girl pretty little face that face just knocks me off of my feet Pretty little feet She's really sweet enough to eat She looks Like an angel looks She even cooks Like an angel cooks And my mind's in a kind of world to my mind, she's my kind of girl, and my heart's kind of full of joy, because she told me I'm her kind of boy. <laughs> Started already. Champagne. Oh, thank you very much. Too fast. 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 <laughs> yeah, is yours better? Yes, mine's better. Are you alright? I've got so many wires, you know, with all my power. I've now got about five. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Let me say, we really welcome Michael into our family. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 I tell you something, your strengths and weaknesses are complimentary. Oh. <laughs> and I really feel that your lives are going to be full of happiness. And I think yeah. that would be certainly the toast I'd like to give to oh. Nicola and to Michael yeah. for their happiness and the future. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Up to the next one. one two. Now, this is where you pop the two at a time. Go on, keep it there. One, two. And then what? <laughs> I've got my job to sussed anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad it's working again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, that's good. That, right, that's yeah, perfect. Everyone else is working except yeah. for Michael. Yeah. <laughs> just a, drink and just a small, at the same time. Oh, yeah, nobody wants to eat those. I have John starring on my movie. Who's using it for you? Uh, well, I'm going to get bits and bobs like this. Yeah. Oh, it's all going so well. Bit of before and after. All right. Yeah, Nick is going to be so thrilled. Mm. Oh, 
course, I want some of these photos. I've got that one to show them around. Yeah. Who am I marrying, by the way? We haven't decided yet. <laughs> it's a surprise. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. You look great, you two. Yeah, looking very good. Yeah. Nan. Give us a wait. Let's get all three of you. Look at me, Nan Walker. That's lovely. <laughs> very good. Very. Oh, thank you. Boom, boom. Room, room. <laughs> Have a stop this, please. Tessa. Oh, yeah. Comes the Archbishop. For better or worse, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, for 
before, he gets it rather badly with eyes of a different hue. At 35, you will find him flirting, sadly, with two or three or more. When he fancies he is past love, it is then he finds his last love. And he loves her as he's never loved before. I said, the man for me must have a castle. A man of means he'd be, a man of fame. And then I met a man who hadn't any, without a penny to his name. I had to go and fall for so much less than I had planned. From all the magazines, I should have wanted more. What am I happy for? I think the man means more than the means. So many people in the world, and what can they do? They'll never know love like my love for you. So many people laugh at what they don't know. Well, that's their concern. If just a few, say half a million or so, could see us, they learn. So many people in the world don't know what they've missed. They never believe such joy could exist. But if they tell us it's a thing we'll outgrow, they're jealous as they can be, but with so many people in the world, you love me. For the present, there is just one moon, though every level pond gives back another. But the bright disk shining in the black lagoon, perceived by astrophysicist and lover, is milliseconds old. And even that light, seven minutes older than its source. And the stars we think we see on moonless nights are long extinguished. And of course, this very moment, as you hear this line, is literally gone before you know it. Forget the here and now. We have no time. But this device of wantonness and wit Make me this present then, your hand in mine, and we'll live out our lives in it. Geniuses of countless nations have told their love <coughs> for generations till all their memorable phrases are common as golden rock or daisies. Their girls have glimmered like the moon, or shimmered like a summer noon, stood like lily, fled like fawn, now the sunset, now the dawn. Here the princess in the tower, there the sweet forbidden flower. Darling, when I look at you, <coughs> every aged phrase is new. And there are moments when it seems I married one of Shakespeare's dreams. <laughs> Something within me, love, 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 within me,
go. Yeah, I'd like to say, without any doubt, this is probably the, one of the happiest days of my life. No. And uh, I do hope that it's going to be the best day of Nicola and In you go. In you go. Bye. Bye. That's just push her in. You can't get in, she's got a hat on. Yeah, just bump it. Shall I get my putter? Yeah. Congratulations to Michael and Nicola. It's a wonderful wedding. Good luck for the future. I think so. No, Oh, there they are. You have a have a black suit on, black glasses. It's great, isn't it? Seriously, congratulations. Great day. Lovely day. Chin chin. Yeah. Can you say something to him for Mike and Nicola now, please? <laughs> Did you? I hate you. Mike and Nicola, congratulations on your wedding. And I hope you look back on this in 30 to 40 years' time and you can still hear it. Hey, one more? Oh, hello. Second is Big smile, Tess. <laughs> Oh, how long have I known him? 35 years, too long. And uh, he's an absolute golfing bandit. And anybody that might see this video, never play with him, because he'll just cheat. He'll tell you his handicap's 21, and he's not. He should be off about eight. End of story. <laughs> Ask Chris. I think it works. I don't know why it's starting working again. Now I think that I've been wonderful time. I will miss it for the world. 
Uh, hello, do you want to say anything to Michael and, and Nicola? Um, would you like to say anything to the wedding? Are you, are you, have you been invited? Excuse me? Are you a guest? Are you a guest? Hello Michael and Nicola. This is when you look back on this. I'm just standing having a cigarette after a beautiful meal. Um, are you a guest? Yeah. Have you, have you had dinner? Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, lovely to meet you. Thanks a lot then. Bye. It was fantastic. <laughs> and uh, now I'm just looking at a few drunks playing um, <laughs> putt, I think, or something. Will that do? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Nicola is probably my best friend and it was a lovely, lovely day and a uh, great honour to be able to sing for her and not make too many mistakes and um, that's all really. <coughs> I heard that testimony <laughs> in the gag. I want you to know, take a shot of it. See this hairdo? See the hairdo there? That is a Nikki hairdo. She has now I'm become a Nikki it. clone because she fancies Nikki so much. And she's so excited about Nikki getting married to Mikey. And um, I hope Mikey's a nice guy and invites me to play golf here someday, but I doubt he will because he knows I'm a hole in one man. Um, but I'm going to try to get my beard trimmed like Mikey, and uh, soon we could be a doubles couple. <laughs> but well done on your wedding. And I'm glad you got her flopping on the deck, Mikey, because it's all downhill from now, buddy. <laughs> So, what did um, Michael's Graham say? We need. Yeah. Michael, never seen him before in my life. And do you want to see him again? N only to pay the bill. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye now. Done. Thanks a lot. <laughs> and in the true spirit of the way, we will be celebrating that fact tonight. Ron Alphys, we'll be here at breakfast. I'll be both for an MC for this evening's speech because you ought to be treated not to watch. Not to two, not to three, not to four, but to seven speed. <laughs> <laughs> yes! So please make yourself very happy. From Nicholas Barber, Malcolm Keane.
when it gets to her elbows and knees, looks up and goes.
Eli for ooh, it must be eight years ago to, to domesticate this, this animal. <laughs> and I remember one instance where she was teaching him something to do with kitchen stuff. He then goes a big stack this one because it took her a whole week to get the plastic tubs off the uh, scratched off the top of the oven that he had melted all over. <laughs> But there was a method in his madness because she never let him back in the kitchen again. <laughs> <laughs> so all the best to you both. And um, if my brother and father were here today, they would say that this was a marriage made in heaven. And I'm sure that they would love to have been here. And on their behalf, from their behalf, my mother and father and myself, so to speak, my the best. Michael and I made an arrangement that he would pick me up from my home at around 10 o'clock in the morning so that we could attend to several of the pre-wedding duties. I got a call about 20 past 10 saying he was at the M25 junction. I asked him how he could get from Ham to New Malden via the M25. And he explained to me he'd been concentrating so hard on his speech that he'd forgotten to turn off the A3 and had only realised it when he saw a sign for West Byfleet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're now going to be allowed to share in those thoughts. <laughs> Thank you for 
various reasons, and you'll not, most of you understand why. But I'm very pleased that my, that my partner assisted me. Jones, but the reality that Nicola and Michael were actually going to tie the knot. Just think of it, in a few short hours the bride, her head full of misty-eyed marriage moments, will board that plane that will whisk her off for a once-in-a-lifetime luxury two-week trip to Arizona, USA, <laughs> while Michael heads for Mateson. <laughs> Life has ever been thus. They had met during one of the many Nick Race management tours of Germany on a show called Shall We Dance? Dance on this particular tour being a euphemism for pretend we're just good friends and that's why we always come down for breakfast together. <laughs> this, this was a period when Michael was rarely separated from his video camera. Following this and several other successful productions, Michael felt when, in order to enliven a bewildered audition panel, he arrived armed with a paint pot and a brush, and in an attempt to capitalise on his recently successful career as an interior decorator, he proceeded to perform The Money Keeps Rolling In as he completed a highly original room decorating sequence. Sadly, in spite of raising the flagging spirits of the audition-weary panel, Michael didn't even get a recall. <laughs> Unknown to Michael until this point, I can reveal that the paint pot was shortlisted for a principal role. <laughs> uh, nobody, of course, realised at that fateful audition the full significance of the brush. <laughs> It is. If at first you don't succeed, do it the way your wife told you in the first place. <laughs> now, there are several principal duties to be performed by a best man, and on this occasion, one has been a particular pleasure, and it is to acknowledge the beautiful lady on my right. Hey. May I ask all of you to share with me, in raising your glasses, ladies and gentlemen, to the bridesmaid, Tessa. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
today. Uh, this is such a special day. You both deserve all the happiness that you're obviously going to have. And to share the past with you has been our pleasure. Around the corner, there's a rainbow in the sky. So let's have another cup of coffee, and let's have another piece of pie. Trouble's just a bubble, and the clouds will soon roll by. So let's have another cup of coffee, and let's have another piece of pie. Let a smile be your umbrella, for it's just an April shower. Even John D. Rockefeller is looking for the silver lining. Mr. Herbert Hoover says that now's the time to buy. So let's have another cup of coffee, and let's have another piece of pie. Mr. Herbert Hoover says that now's the time to buy. So let's have another cup of coffee and let's have another piece of pie. Long as there's you, long as there's me, long as the best things in life are free. I say it's spinach and the hell with it, the hell with it, that's all. Long as I'm yours, long as you're mine, long as there's love and a moon to shine, I say it's spinach and the hell with it, the hell with it, that's all. There must be rain to Peter Patter. Things don't come on a silver platter. What does it matter long as there's you, long as there's me? Long as the best things in life are free, I say it's spinach and the hell with it, the hell with it, that's all. What does it matter long as there's you, long as there's me? Long as the best things in life are free, I say it's spinach and the hell with it, the hell with it, that's all. So let's have another cup of coffee, and let's have another piece of pie. See you later.